We've been conditioned to believe we are inferior. Do you have a problem with my blackness? Sexual abuse in my community isn't simply about rape. There is a deep-rooted anger against black men and women. Intercultural frustration triggered by the history of our nation. Your perception has become what I see in my reflection. Sexual abuse. We do not speak of it. Fear that I'll betray my family and friends by turning them into the system. We have the right to remain silent, but that doesn't mean we should. Sexual violence is endemic, pandemic in the black community on both sides, not just against women, but also against black men. Um, and most of the psychologists who study this believe that, of course, it's a direct result of slavery and its aftermath, poverty and discrimination. They, uh, Africans who were enslaved here were enslaved in almost equal numbers of men, women, and children. And of course, the reason for this was because of the sexual availability of the black female. And of course, children could work a longer period of time, but as long as you had females, of course, you could breed slaves. And that was the desire for it. And really, the foundation for the sexual exploitation of uh, African Americans. Hi, my name is Mo Pedola Adesina. I'm a writer and an activist. When I was seven and 12, I got raped by the same person. And me and my mother, we went to Belgium. It was one of her close friends. And the event took place for like weeks, maybe like over a month. Um, we would just watch movies together and then he would just do his thing. And when Oftentimes with sexual abuse, it's seen as um, uh, something that's kept as a secret, something that um, we don't want to then get the uh, person who's the abuser in trouble for. When I was in 12th grade, me and my cousin, we were just talking about the things that we was going through, and my mother overheard me. And once I came back in the room, she would just say that I was lying. So she didn't even believe what I said. So that's how she found out. But to this day, she kind of like, still denies it. The reason that this is the matter is not discussed among black males is because it's a shame issue. Men generally feel ashamed if they have abuse at all. Or they, they can't even really discuss their feelings of vulnerability. The male wouldn't want to look weak and susceptible to go report that he was sexually abused by a female. And if he was abused by a male, then, I mean, that's probably even a worse situation, seeing the embarrassment that could come from that. Admitting that you weren't strong enough to protect yourself or you got taken advantage of and nobody wants to be, it's an ego blow. I think it's important to speak out on how the black community handles sexual abuse because it, we need to pr better protect um, people from sexual abuse. We need to expose it and it not be a secret. Um, we need to collaborate so that we can address the real problem of rape and sexual assault. We need to listen instead of just pushing it off. I just think that if we just listen, it's going to make a difference. If you're a victim of sexual abuse, whether if you're male or female, your voice matters. As a human being, we should not dehumanize ourselves. We should love ourselves. So we need to be brave and we need to be strong because we will always matter in this world.